Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square y by dx square plus 4y equals 3 for x plus sine 2x plus sin cos 2x. Right? So firstly, we'll find the order and degree of the given differential equation. Order. Identify the highest derivative here. d square y by dx square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. Since we got the order 2, so we'll get two constants in the solution. Okay? And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So degree will be 1. Now, coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square y by dx square plus 4 into y equals to e power x plus sine 2x plus cos 2x. Right? Now let's write this in differential operator form. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Right? Then d square will be d square by dx square. Then we can write d square y by dx square as d square y plus 4y equals to e power x plus sine 2x plus cos 2x. Right? Now, let's take y common from these two terms and you get d square plus 4 into y equals to e power x plus sine 2x plus cos 2x, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, right? This is of f of d into y equals to q form. Now, we need to write f of d and q. By comparing these two, we will get f of d equals to d square plus 4 and q equals to e power x plus sine 2x plus cos 2x. Now we need to write the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation using y equals to yc plus yb. Here yc is a complementary function and yb is a particular integral. So we'll find yc using the roots of auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0, we'll get f of d into y equals to 0, which is the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation, right? And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Firstly, let's find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d d square plus 4 now replace differential operator d by m then we'll get f of m equals to m square plus 4 then our auxiliary equation becomes m squared plus 4 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots to this equation. So we can find roots in two ways. Now take this plus 4 to RHS, it becomes minus 4, then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 4. You can write plus uh, square root of minus 4 as square root of minus 1 into 4. And split this as square root of minus 1 into square root of 4, right? Since we know that square root of minus 1 equals to i and square root of 4 equals to 2, then this becomes plus or minus i into 2 or plus or minus 2 1, right? Imaginary roots. Or here we have purely imaginary root, roots, right? Or 
m square plus 4 equals to 0 can be written as m square into you can write plus 4 as minus of minus 4 right we know that okay just write this minus 4 as minus 1 into 4 we know that minus 1 equals to i square or i square equals to minus 1 and 2 square equals to 4 then we can replace this minus 1 sorry this is minus 1 okay replace minus 1 by i square and 4 by 2 square right now we can write i square into 2 square as 2i whole square this is an a square minus b square form so we can write this as a plus b into a minus b now equate each factor to 0 m plus 2y equals to 0, m minus 2y equals to 0. Q. So from this we will get m equals to minus 2y and from m minus 2y equals to 0 we will get m equals to 2y. Right? So m equals to minus 2y and plus 2y or simply m equals to plus or minus 2y. Right? So m equals to plus or minus 2y are the roots of the auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus 2y are the roots of our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0, which are purely imaginary. Or you can say complex conjugate. We know that if a plus IB is a complex number, then the conjugate of this will be A minus IB. If A minus IB is a complex number, then the conjugate of this will be A plus IB. Right? Say if A equals to 0, then you will get conjugate of plus IB is minus IB. And conjugate of minus IB is plus IB. Right? When we have complex conjugates, so m equals to a plus or minus ib, then a complementary solution will be e power ax, the real part into x, into constant, some constant into cos bx plus c2, another constant to sine bx. In the case of a equals to 0, we will get e power 0 into x, which is equals to e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Since e power 0 is 1, then we'll get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Right? Simply, we'll get y c equals to c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Now, Let's write complementary function to our problem. Y is equals to, we have only the imaginary part, right? So, compare m equals to plus or minus bi with 2y, then for b equals to 2, we'll get y c equals to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x. This is the required complementary function. Now let's find particular integral.
particular integral is given by 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d d square plus 4 into q is e power x plus sine 2x plus cos 2x. Z equals to 1 by d square plus 4 into e power x plus 1 by d square plus 4 into sine 2x plus 1 by d square plus 4 into cos 2x. Let's find each term separately. Okay, I'll name the first term as some yp1 and second term as yp2 and third term as yp3 for my convenience. Now we'll find yp1. This is 1 by d square plus 4 into e power x. So this is of 1 by f of d into e power x form for a equals to 1. Right? We have f of d equals to d square plus 4. Now let's find f of a for a equals to 1. Let's find f of 1 that is 1 square plus 4 which is equal to 1 plus 4, 5, right? Which is not equal to 0. Since f of 1 is not equal to 0, then what we can do? We can just replace d by 1. Then we'll get 1 plus 4 into e power x, which is equal to 1 by 5 into e power x. Or e power x by 5. Now let's find yp2. We have yp2 equals to 1 by d square plus 4 into sine 2x. And this is of 1 by f of d into sine ax form. For a equals to 2, we need to find d square, which is un by minus a square. For a equals to 2, minus 2 square equals to minus 4. Right? Now, let's replace d square and see what we'll get in the denominator. The denominator must be not equal to 0. If the denominator gets 0, we'll get something like this. 1 by 0 into sine 2x, which is undefined. Okay. So, let's see what happens by replacing d squared by minus 4. Okay. I just consider the whole step. Now, replace d squared by minus 4 plus 4 into sine 2x. Which is equal to 1 by 0 into sine 2x. Undefined. Right? So we can't replace d square simply now. So what we have to do? We'll find, just write 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of d square plus 4. If f of d equals to d square plus 4, then f dash of d will be, derivative of d square is 2d, because derivative of a constant is 0, that is 2d, right? Right, 2d in the denominator into sine 2x. Now, we can just write this as x by 2 into 1 by d into sine 2x. Here 1 by d is a integral operator, right? Or inverse of differential operator, we can say. This becomes x by 2 into find integral of sine 2x is equals to x by 2 into integral sine 2x is minus cos 2x by 2 is equals to minus x cos 2x by 2 to the 4. Therefore, yp2 equals to minus x cos 2x by 4. Now let's find yp3. One by f of d into cos two x. This is of one by f of d into cos a x form. Then for a equals to two, we need to find d square, which is given by minus a square, which is equals to minus for a equals to two. You'll get minus two square equals to minus four. Now we'll replace d square 
by minus 4 and see what happens okay always remember that the denominator must be non zero okay so i'll consider this thing now i'll replace d square by minus 4 you will get minus 4 plus 4 is 0 we got 1 by 0 into cos 2x 1 by 0 is undefined so total term becomes undefined right So what we have to do? We should not replace d square here or replace d square by minus 4. We'll write 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of d square plus 4. If f of d equals to d square plus 4, then f dash of d will be, derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of constant is 0, which is equal to 2d. 2 in the denominator into cos 2x. Again, you can write this as x by 2 into 1 by d into cos 2x, right? Here, 1 by d is a inverse of differential operator or integral operator, we can say. x by 2 into find the integral of cos 2x. Which is equals to x by 2 into integral cos 2x dx is sine 2x by 2 which is equals to x sine 2x by 2 to the 4. Therefore, yp2 equals to, sorry, this is 3, right? yp3 equals to x sine 2x by 4. Now, coming to yp, Replace the results obtained from yp1, yp2 and yp3, right? From yp1 we got e power x by 5. From yp2 we got minus x cos 2x by 4. And from yp3 we got x sine 2x by 4. Now coming to general solution. Let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to we have yc c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus yp e power x by 5 minus x cos 2x by 4 plus x sine 2x by 4. How many constants we have here? Only 2, right? Our order is 2 and also we got the constants 2. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.